I'm Anil Kumar. Here is question number 15 on functions test. If f of x equals to square root of minus x plus 1 plus 2, determine the equation of inverse. State domain or range of the inverse. So we are given the function f of x equals to square root of minus x plus 1 plus 2. We need to find its inverse. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now to find inverse, what should we do? We first write the function as y equals to minus x plus 1 plus 2, right? And then we swap x and y. So we can write this as x equals to square root of minus y plus 1 square root plus 2. I normally prefer to write the inside term with negative. It helps actually. I could write this as taking minus common, right? I get y minus 1. Do you see that? It will make things clear. You'll soon appreciate. Bringing to the left side, we get x minus 2 equals to square root of minus y minus 1, correct? Now we'll square both sides, x minus 2 whole square equals to minus y minus 1. Now that minus, we can write this as minus x minus 2 whole square equals to y minus 1. And from here, we can take minus 1 on this side and we can write this as minus x minus 2 whole square plus 1 equals to y. So we kind of get our inverse function. However, there is a small problem here. So I like to discuss this problem with you. Now before me moving forward, we should actually see the domain and range of the function itself. So let me analyze that part. So we'll go back to this function, which is which is y equals to minus, that is f of x, minus, let me write this as x minus 1 plus 2, right? So let us sketch this function to understand uh, better what we're trying to do, okay? So that really means that the square root function, which is kind of like this, has been reflected kind of like this, and moved one unit to the to the right, is it okay? And two units up. So we can see that the function is kind of, let me sketch in a different color. So that is a square root function. So after translation, this is your this is your y, right? Or f of x. Okay. Now anyway, you don't really have to sketch to find domain and range. For this particular function, the domain of the function is that inside value should be always positive, right? So we can find domain of this function as x belongs to real numbers where x is less than or equal to 1, right? As far as the range is concerned, uh, range of this function is y belongs to real numbers where y is greater than or equal to 2. Now whenever you find inverse of the function, domain and range flip. So in this particular case, the range which is y greater than or equal to 2 becomes a restriction. So we have to write x is greater than or equal to 2. So this parabola is now the inverse of square root function. Do you get my point? So when you find inverse, we have to take only one arm of the parabola, not both. Right? Not both. So it's a negative arm. So, so add 2, uh, 2 plus 1, that is to say add 2. So this point, which is at 1, 2, will be translated to 2 plus 1, right? 2 plus 1, somewhere very close here. 2 plus 1, let's say this. And then it moves downwards. Correct. So, so the range will be less than or equal to 1. Do you see that? So it's going to be a function like this. 
where x is greater than or equal to 2, right? So this value for x will be 2. And this value is 1. Do you understand? That becomes the inverse. So I hope the point is clear to you. We will write here as f inverse of x as equal to minus of x plus 2 whole square plus 1 where x is greater than equal to 2. Now it's very important to write x greater than equal to 2. Otherwise we have the whole parabola. Correct? Which is not the inverse of the square root function. This is the inverse of the given function. So the idea here is when you begin solving this, find the domain and range of the original function. Flip it and write down as domain range of the inverse function, right? Well, we have to answer that question also. So let's do part B. We know the inverse function. Now part B is domain of f inverse x and range of f inverse x, right? So domain range of this function. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Domain we have already given here, greater than or equal to 2. So we can write this in interval notation as from 2 to infinity, right? And as far as range is concerned, it is from 1 to infinity, right? Minus infinity. 1 is included and infinity can never be included. So that is the domain and range of inverse function, correct? So that is how you should be solving this question. So we know the inverse function is minus x plus 2 whole square plus 1 where x is greater than or equal to 2. Now this condition is extremely important. Please don't miss that part. Otherwise, the answer will be wrong. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. You feel free to share and subscribe to my videos and ask questions. Thank you and all the best.